What up, family? Gangsta Williams. Very man, brother. If you don't know. And if you don't know, you know, Gangsta William is known for having like 40 bodies where he's from, right? So the things that he speak on, you know, it way true, it way history when it comes to cash money, the streets of New Orleans, period, right? We also know that Birdman was a young man, you know, with a label like 19 years old, 20 years old, you know, running a label and was in the street early doing a lot of different things. And in this time in New Orleans, you know, if you was getting money out the road, you really had to be a soldier, you know, doing that because individuals would come check you, you know, kill you, take it from you, right? You had to have the right people around you. Now, when it come to the cash money, the BG, all that, you know, it really way off Gangsta Williams, Birdman brother. You know, the Gangsta and BG name come from that. The hot boys, you know what I'm saying, come from uh, Gangsta Williams and what they had going on in the streets for real. Now, with this situation, fam, before we get into details, I didn't know. You know, it, you, like I said, you learn something new every day. I guess you do. Now, before we get into it, we know Birdman always been a solid mob type figure when he speak on situations and you can tell that because even with the Breakfast Club thing where he went off, Birdman, when he get mad, he get like nervous in his talk. He already talked like that, but he get real nervous like and you can tell that he real sort of like what I am, fam. I get mad. I get the, you feel me? So when it come to Birdman and having them type of uh actions when it comes to being mad let you know that this individual will go overboard anytime you get a dude that start crying or just get because you know what you would do or or you just get to shake it you know what you would do to an individual family and them be the ones that dangerous to watch the scary ones so to speak now fast forward you know uh gangster william was just on an interview and he spoke on matter of fact he was on Vlad tv he spoke on birdman you know, uh, pretty much training him to kill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He didn't want to come all the way into details, but he said Birdman gave him the game, bought him to the game. And when Birdman bought him to the game, we know 40 bodies came about after then. Now, I, I'm not pinpointing that Birdman or uh, a certain body or whatever the case might be. And if you look at it, Birdman, for some reason, well, we know the reason because of the snitching allegations on his brother do not rock with his brother no. They took care of them in jail. They might be doing stuff up under the table, but you never see them together in public or uh, none of these type settings like that. Now, is that because Birdman hurt? Because Gangster Williams uh, was saying that at the end of the day, he respect Birdman call on not dealing with him because they all brought the rules to the game. You feel me? And for Birdman to say when he went on his last rant, I think he was speaking on Rick Ross and all the rest of them that was speaking on his name. Birdman was saying that this cash money umbrella is real. People have died. It's been real murders. And you can tell that Birdman was serious about that. See, a lot of, a lot of us, we look at, especially in this hip hop game, being a CEO and mogul, a lot of these moguls, you know, they really was gangsters and got blood on their hand, fam. It took stuff to do that was dangerous, so to speak, to get where they at. It took a lot of uh, sacrificing in the streets. You know, you just can't come up in the streets of New Orleans or no street and not get money and not put down no street behavior in the process, especially if you were getting the money that Birdman uh, was getting at the time. And when it comes to this cash money reunion, you know, as a whole, you know, it's looking like that this cash money reunion going to roll. Birdman and Slim, both of them just went on an interview and like they're going to make it happen. And we was looking for Birdman, you know, to speak out on this situation because we heard Turk uh, speak out, Wayne, BG, and all the rest of them. And that's great, fam, for this label to last that long. And Birdman still, he said he want to go out the game the same way that he came in which is with all members of Cash Money. And that's cool. That's rare from a label 
uh, these days. I got to say, got it doing it on a different tip, and I can see they longevity because it's it's built off more than just the label. You know, they really rocking with each other as brothers. You feel what I'm saying? And it make a difference. Now, what I'm not doing is condoning uh, the the destruction, fam. That cash money, any other label, and 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 I want to say this. Because the discretion be different on different labels. No Limit with more of a label that, you know, it had more of the killing, more of, you know, the body, but more of the angry type of, but when it came to cash money, they was more of the bling bling, more about the money. And that can lead you to a prison cell, a federal cell, trying to live up to how Birdman living. You feel me? And... The same when it comes to a uh, Master P and all them, what they was doing on the gangster tip. People would try to live up to that, shoot it out. We used to do shootings on that body body, doing drive-bys, listening to it, fam. I'm like 13 years old at the time. That's how much the influence um, weight on the community. So at the end of the day, I'm not condoning, you know, the, 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 the effects that, the rap music have on the culture and on the streets. But what I'm saying is when it comes to, I know how hard it is to come up out these streets and be successful, fam. I know what it is. I know what to be militant minded in the streets. And that's all, you know, and that's all Birdman have. No, he come 1920 from the streets straight to being a CEO mogul in the game. So he took everything from the streets just put it in a different form and fashion. You dig what I'm saying? So a lot of time they understanding towards life be different from a dude like me because their experience be been different. You see what I'm saying? That's why the most high said he take care of fools and babies, you know, at the end of the day. In this situation, because I speak on Birdman all the time saying that, hey, Bird need to do more. He need to speak out more when it comes to the community. But I'm learning that that's just not Birdman character coming up out of New Orleans. The only thing he ever knew, he lost his mother, you know, at a young age. The only thing he ever knew was to get money, to be successful, you know, to come out, to come up out the situation in New Orleans that he was in, fam. You feel me? And they can't look past that. Now, at the end of the day, I got to say this, every knee must bow, even Birdman. You understand? And Birdman is getting older in the game. So everything that, uh, uh, one may have done in the past, whether it's murders or whatever, they thinking about it now, thinking about life because life start to hit you different the, the closer you get to your deathbed, fam. That's why a lot of people you see on their deathbed, you know, they admit to murders and different things like that because that be the most high dealing with them. But I will keep y'all updated on situation, family. But make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.